unique combination of talent, beauty, and charm never failed to enthrall movie audiences everywhere. Starring in box office hits like My Man Godfrey with David Niven, and some came running with Frank Sinatra, she also showed plenty of courage when she played opposite me in Paris Holiday. Please welcome the lovely Martha Heyer, right here. <laughs> It's wonderful seeing you again. Oh, Bob, I wouldn't have missed it for anything. You know, you haven't changed a bit. <laughs> Isn't she sweet? Anybody want to buy a used Medicare card? <laughs> Bob, wouldn't it be fun to do another picture together? If we could find the right script. Well, that won't be easy. The score at the box office today, I'd have to play the leading lady, you'd have to play the leading man, and we'd have to give birth to a creature from a distant planet who keeps trying to call home. <laughs> story would be pretty outrageous. Not to mention the phone bill. <laughs> Bob, why couldn't we just do another picture like Paris Holiday? We had a wonderful time over there, didn't we? Yeah, it was fantastic, and I'd love to get back to Paris. And if I could get my old room back, what a view of the city I had. You know, I've always wondered about that. How did you ever get permission to stay in the Eiffel Tower? <laughs> Martha, you and I share another memory. I was with you when you received your Oscar nomination for Some Came Running. Tell me, what did it feel like when you opened the telegram? Before or after you grabbed it out of my hand? Well, I was just making sure they didn't make a mistake. You know, hire, hope. They're easy names to get mixed up. Well, I was thrilled. And, Bob, I appreciated the wire you sent me later. Hey, I was happy for you. Besides, I don't think about myself all the time. His telegram said, Congratulations. See what comes of working with me? Well, well I'll try and make it up to you right now. Ladies and gentlemen, here are some scenes from Paris Holiday, starring Bob Hope and Martha Heyer, the Oscar nominee. How was that? Beats the telegram. Mm. <laughs> oh, uh, pardonnez-moi, uh, mademoiselle. Is this mouchoir uh, yours? Vous? Merci bien, monsieur. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, honey. Cherie, that is. Oui, monsieur. Voila. I know that's clean. Everybody says it. You French girl, me American boy. At least I got the sexes right. Good neighbor policy? You know, uh, we make beautiful music together? No? I wonder what's French for beautiful music. La belle musique. But I'm afraid I don't play duets, Mr. Hunter. Hey, you're American. You know my name. Everybody knows your name. My brother, for instance, he's a great fan of yours. Yeah? He's almost seven. Hey. Now, if you'll excuse me. Good night, Mr. Hunter. I've enjoyed chatting with you. Hey, you know, that's the first nice thing you've said about me? Well, I didn't want to interrupt you. have been saying so many nice things about yourself. Oh, and brains, too. Not that you need any added accessories. I'll settle for the factory job. Is this your first trip to Paris? My 24th. No. What do you do, run over every weekend and borrow a cup of perfume? No, I work for the American Embassy. How about that? I just knew you were on our side. Say, what do you say we, uh... I wouldn't think of it. Good night, Mr. Hunter. Mm -hmm. There ought to be a law against violin music and moonlight. They do things to a girl. Yeah, and then those things do things to a guy. <laughs> Great night for things, isn't it? The French are so wonderfully impulsive. They don't ask for a kiss. They do whatever they wish. No wonder we have to send the money. Nobody's showing up at the office. <laughs>